The meeting room will come to order. We are now holding a meeting of the Northeast Community College Collegiate FFA Chapter. Mr. Vice President, are all officers at their stations? I shall call the roll of officers, determine if they are at their stations, and report back to you, Madam President. The Sentinel. Stationed by the door. Your duty, sir. <coughs> Through this door pass many friends of the FFA. It is my duty to see that the door is open to our friends at all times and that they are welcome. I care for the meeting room and paraphernalia. I try to keep the room comfortable and assist the president in maintaining order. The reporter. The reporter is stationed by the flag. Why by the flag? As the flag covers the United States of America, so I strive to inform <coughs> the people and whether man, woman, and child may know that the FFA is a national organization that reaches from the state of Alaska to Puerto Rico and from the state of Maine to Hawaii. The treasurer. Stationed at the emblem of Washington. Your duties there. I keep a record of receipts and disbursements, just as Washington kept his farm accounts, carefully and accurately. I encourage thrift among the members and strive to build up our financial standings through savings and investments. George Washington was better able to serve his country because he was financially independent. The secretary. Stationed by the ear of corn. Your duties there. I keep an accurate record <coughs> of all meetings and correspond with other secretaries wherever corn is grown and at the same members meet. The advisor. Here by the owl. Why stationed by the owl? The owl is a time-honored emblem of knowledge and wisdom. Being older than the rest of you, I'm asked to advise you from time to time as the need arises. I hope that my advice will always be based on true knowledge and ripened with wisdom. Mr. Vice President, why do you keep a plow at your station? The plow is the symbol of labor and tillage of the soul. Without labor, neither knowledge nor wisdom can accomplish much. My duties require me to assist at all times in directing the work of our organization. I preside over meetings in the absence of our president, whose place is beneath the rising sun. Why is the president so stationed? The rising sun is the token of a new era in agriculture. If we will follow the leadership of our president, we shall be led out of the darkness of selfishness and into the glorious sunlight of brotherhood and cooperation. To practice brotherhood, honor agricultural opportunities and responsibilities, and develop those qualities of leadership which an FFA member should possess. The Northeast Community College Collegiate FFA meeting duly open for the transaction of business or attention to any matters which may properly be presented. Officers, you can take a seat or come stand beside me. The National FFA Organization and the Mississippi FFA Association are dedicated to making a positive difference in the lives of students by developing their potential for career leadership, personal growth, and career success through agriculture and agricultural education. The local FFA chapter is the heartbeat of the FFA. Chapters which strive for success keep members active at all <coughs> levels of the organization and provide students with many opportunities for leadership. As a local chapter in this organization, you are expected to uphold and fulfill the mission of the National FFA organization. There are many ways to fulfill this mission, and it is up to you as the members of the Northeast Mississippi Community College Collegiate FFA chapter to develop programs projects, and activities to advocate for agriculture education and the FFA. Chapter officers serve a vital function in the FFA. By taking a major leadership role, these students grow <clears throat> from the experience and benefit the chapter. It should be the officer's goal to lead by example and encourage other members to participate in chapter activities. Following are general duties expected of all officers. A genuine desire to be a part of a leadership team. A willingness to accept responsibility. A sincere desire to work with all chapter, chapter members in meeting their leadership, personal, and chapter goals. A commitment to lead by example. A knowledge and understanding of the chapter, state, and national FFA constitutions, bylaws, and programs. A working knowledge of parliamentary procedure and an ability to memorize and recite their parts in the official ceremonies. Every chapter meeting should be an informative and enjoyable experience. Besides conducting chapter business, good me meetings should include entertainment, guest speakers, 
recreation, and refreshments. Variety of programs is essential for maintaining successful meetings. <laughs> Official opening and closing ceremonies are to be held to be used at all meetings. Well-performed ceremonies build pride and enthusiasm, not only in the official officer team, but within the entire chapter. A majority of chapter business should involve items planned in the program of activities. The Northeast FFA chapter promised to work dilig diligently to uphold the mission and goals of the National FFA organization and exert a positive influence on your home, school, and community as leaders in the FFA chapter. If so, please respond, I do. I do. The FFA motto gives 12 short words to live by as they experience the opportunities in the organization. Learning to do, doing to learn, earning to live, and living to serve. Congratulations on becoming an official chapter and a vital part of the Mississippi FFA Association family and members of the world's largest student youth organization, the National FFA. We are proud to present you with your official chapter charter.